Hi Cancer, so I am seeing you either needing to or currently going on a little soul retrieval journey trying to figure out what it is that you really want. You're needing to take time out to find yourself. At the end of the day, if you don't find your soul, you will find that your cup is empty. Hi, this is Sonia here to do a tarot reading for you. All readings are timeless, and when you are drawn to this reading, there could be a message for you. Remember, energies can go both ways, so you could be a cross-watcher. Also, check out your moon or rising sign for better understanding, and if you'd like to support the channel, there are links to donate down below. If you'd like further understanding or spiritual understanding, you can subscribe to my other channel. There's a link for that below. Also, if you would like a personal reading, um, email me for rates or an appointment. And as always, thank you to all of you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And let's get started. Hi, this message is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, I pulled some Oracle cards, some Archetype cards, and some Tarot cards. And I'll be clarifying with another deck. Um... So, I got two oracle cards for your overall message. And I'm seeing you, like, trying to find yourself. Um, immediately is what I see. And I'm almost seeing, like, a tendency to cut off your own happiness due to pride. So, we're going to look at that. and Because I kind of see where it's coming from, too. So, first card you got, Soul Retrieval. And I'm going to read that to you. It's just a short oracle message from the Mystical Shaman Oracle. Um, it says, You are no longer fragmented. You are one with creation. You have healed the cause of the pain you feel, so you do not need to dwell on it any longer. Really, it's true. If you are still hovering over an old wound, find a new flight path. Don't be distracted with the little stuff you've already mastered. Go for the big one, the journey back to Eden. And this says, that's the invitation. I'm going to read the essence too. It says, soul retrieval is a practice that helps you recover part of yourself. Because that's what I was getting from this. Your energy, your enthusiasm, or your innocence that you have lost. At first, we'll use soul retrieval to recover from our hurts and heal our childhood wounds. Later we learned a journey to recover our original nature, the self that never left the Garden of Eden who will speak to the rivers, to the trees, and to God. When we return to Eden, we are whole again. Now that's very interesting because I'm actually seeing um, like a pattern from your childhood and I'm seeing you being like this like adventurous, um, enthusiastic, almost like mischievous um, child in a way. But like, it was like almost like um, held, held back in a way. But we'll look into that more. Let's look at the sun. That's the other overall message. Um, okay. I'm going to read the essence first. It says, The sun is acknowledged by many cultures as the foremost masculine force. In other traditions, it is seen as the feminine in her full power. Either way, it is the most brilliant light for all beings and allows life to sprout from the dark, feminine earth. It can be gentle, warming, close to the sunrise or sunset, fall or winter, or it can be destructive, as in the zenith during the scorching summer. Have you been hibernating? <laughs> Have you been introspective? It is time to come out of the cave and savor the life-giving light of your, our star. The sun rekindles your passion and your creative energy. Life is calling you to shine your light and to add lightness and humor to the seriousness around you. Get out and play. Okay. So, the first card I got is Meditate and Contemplate. This is what I feel like you have been doing. 
about something, but I think it's you trying to figure out yourself, like you wanting to um, find what you want to do in a situation. The cards that are clarifying it, we've got the Ace of Crystals and the Seven of Crystals, both reversed. Um, before I get into those, let me pull an additional card for each one of them. Why is the Seven of Crystals here? Reversed. We've got Justice reversed. And what is the Ace of Crystals reversed? And we've got the Three of Cups. Okay, so there's a few things I'm seeing here. First, the Meditate and Contemplate. This card is like you taking a step back from a situation to figure out what you want, what you want to do. And it also can have to do with like love relationships with um, this new moon in Pisces card. It's like a kind of a lovey-dovey card. And what I'm seeing with the Seven of Crystals and the um, Justice reversed, this is showing that there is something that is out of balance. Something's out of balance. And it could be due to something that you may have done. And I say that because the Ace of... It could be someone else's energy. By the way, these can go both ways, but this is specifically what this is saying, okay? Um, it's saying that the, with the Ace of Crystals reversed, it's saying that you considering like what you need to do in a situation because you may have made a choice that you feel like wasn't the right choice. And it's maybe because you were being, you could have been being, having too much fun or being impulsive um, in a way, or just having too much fun. If it has to do with relationships with the three of cups, it could be like, um, multiple people or like having more options. I wanted to get another card. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the nine of cups came out. This is like intoxication. So this can like having too much of a wish or something like so you could have actually done something too, like while you were intoxicated, like drunk or something like that. And like you being like, okay, wait, I got to figure this out. I got to, what do I really want? What am I, why am I doing this? That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Now the medallion. This is the next card you got. And the medallion the medallion talks about energy, how everything holds energetic patterns, okay? And with the medallion, it can literally mean like um, physical things passed on from generations or it can be like energetic patterns passed on or like childhood patterns passed on. Um, and here you are again with the hanged man taking a step back, trying to see something from a different perspective. And we've got the Five of Feathers reversed. Let me pull a couple cards and then... Uh, what is the Hanged Man? What else can I get for the Hanged Man? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Seven of Swords. That's um, sneakiness. It can be strategic or holding things back, or not saying something. You might not be saying something right now. And the devil reversed is on the bottom. Like, that's like something needing to be let go of. Why is the five of feathers reversed? Six of wands reversed. Okay, so the Five of Feathers reversed. 
and the six of wands reversed. This is like, this is a warning. Because this is defeated energy, feeling defeated. But this is like you're defeating yourself. Like you're getting in your own way. Almost like you're sabotaging, sabotaging what you want. And it's like, you could even, this medallion could represent what you want. See how the hand is reaching up for it? Like you want it, but you're self-sabotaging yourself. What is it that you're um, wanting that you're self-sabotaging? We got the star reversed. This is like about you holding back from healing what you really want, holding yourself back, you not grabbing for it. <laughs> um, let's continue and see what comes out. But because the next card I got is a fault line, like you finding this is um, the fault line represents like finding a flaw in yourself somewhere where you crack somewhere. Yeah, somewhere where you crack. Now this could have something to do with your parents. Okay, so because we've got the Queen of Shells here and then the King of Crystals here. And the reason why I'm getting parents... I don't know why I'm getting parents exactly, but the Queen of Shells is your card. The King of Crystals is an Earth card. And this might represent two sides of you too. But see how they're looking away from each other, both of them? So if you're dealing with a person, it could be that you both do this what I'm seeing is that, like, some kind of pattern, basically, from childhood may have caused you to almost, like, say you want something, go for something that you know you can't have. And I'm seeing two people like that. Or, like... Not that you necessarily can't have it. Almost like you're afraid to have it. You're afraid to have what you want. But I'm seeing it like being mirrored with the two. The two doing the same thing. And it could have to do with like. Because one of them. The King of Crystals is about courage and commitment. And the other one. The Queen of Shells is about peace and compassion. It's almost like you feel like you can't have both or. Something along those lines. Um, and you could be dealing with an earth sign, but I'm... Hold on, let me let me get another one for the Queen of Shells. What is the Queen of Shells? We got the Hanged Man, only reversed. What is... We got the Knight of Cups, reversed. I'm getting, this is, <sighs> I'm trying to understand why, <laughs> okay? Because what I'm getting is that, like, with the hanged man reverse, this is like needing to see from another perspective. The Knight of Cups reverse is like not making a love offer. It could be not receiving one from someone, not giving one to someone, but it's not following your heart, like what you desire. It's like you want something and you, because you want it, you're not going to go after it. Um, let's keep going. <laughs> 
Um, the Orphan. This is the next card. Now this is what I'm seeing as why this is happening. Why there's like this energy that you have. This pattern that you have. And it has something to do, like I said, with you, um, the, with Page of Acorns. This is like with your childhood. The orphan talks about like feeling like abandoned, left out, not recognized as a child. But it's almost like... I almost see this as like feeling like you need to discover and be enthusiastic about something, but this guy is like sneaky. Um, what is the page of acorns? Yeah, six of cups reverse. This is some see again that's indicating something about being nostalgic about childhood. Let me let me get one more real quick. This is the page of acorns with the six of cups reversed. The orphan. What is that energy? Two of swords. This is like blocking out your heart blindly. You're refusing to look at the pain from your childhood. Almost like you're running away from it. Um... You might be self-sabotaging as a way, like, I'm almost kind of seeing this, like, self-sabotaging what you really want because you're afraid to have what you want because you're afraid that you will be abandoned somehow, like, uh, not recognized, like, the only way to be recognized It's through like some kind of sneaky energy. It's like you're literally blocking out your Ten of Cups. And that's what I'm seeing over here too. I'm like, why are you doing this? <laughs> uh, this could be the other energy that you're dealing with too. So what I'm seeing is that with the... The next card you got is the sword, okay? And you got the Ace of Shells reversed. That's like the Ace of Cups. The Eight of Shells reversed. So this is literally like feeling like you have to continuously find something new to be excited about because you're afraid of getting bored, feeling trapped, but you're blocking out your own happiness and love. And why is the Ace of Shells reversed? And, um, yeah, Knight of Swords. This is like, This is um, kind of like manipulative energy. Yeah, okay, so this is like kind of like manipulative energy, but it's like blocking your own happiness because you keep like running away from it. I'm showing that you need to, with the hermit, this is like needing to go within and Face whatever it is that you're afraid to face because what you're doing is like running, 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 running to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing. So that you don't have to feel or face your own self, face your own pain that you may have in you. Like letting it go. Um, being afraid. Uh, what is the... Well, okay. <laughs> See, there's the Six of Swords there with the Eight of Shells. Now that can mean that you're um, moving away from this. Um, this can indicate like moving 
uh, away from this conflicted energy or it could just be another sign of you just like trying to get away like I see it like trying to get away from you're afraid to be to feel yeah the high priestess reversed I'm going to get one more because uh, um, there's a couple different things Page of Swords reversed. Okay. So with the Page of Swords reversed and the High Priestess reversed, it's like you're being given something. There's messages trying to come into you. There's um, gifts, love, your own happiness. Like trying to come into you. But you keep like running from it. I might get some advice, but this might have the advice on it. Because this is the last card I got, which is don't let pride get in your way. Full meaning Leo. And then the King of Feathers came out with it. Let me read that Don't Let Pride Get In The Way because I really do think that has some answer to what it is that you're really looking for. Because you're going to run out of steam. Like, basically find your cup empty because you keep running from what where this happiness is that you, what you actually want. Okay, full moon in Leo. Sorry, I keep passing it. I'm like thinking and so I'm not paying attention. Okay, it says, have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asked about based on your ego or is it from your heart? Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big-hearted king of the jungle, the lion. Its energy is magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card may have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. If you've not been doing as you would have done been done by lately let me read that reread that if you've not been doing as you would be done by lately this is the time to find balance between your own needs and the needs of people around you this will help all your relationships so you could be um i'm seeing it as almost like you could be taking a lot and not giving a lot because um, the king of feathers here could represent you. The king of feathers is very logical, but he doesn't really um, express feelings. So you could be holding back feelings, how you feel. Um, with the king of feathers here. See the knight of pentacles, yeah. Got the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Swords reversed. So this is like you needing to stop running, rest, uh, needing to find balance. Because I'm seeing that like you may be getting offers. It's like if this is about relationships, it could be like you getting offers or people like helping you, uh, giving you a lot of love and support and you taking what they give and then running to the next thing and not really giving back because you're not connected with what it is that you really 
want. And when you can connect with that hermit card to yourself, this is why you're doing the soul retrieval, okay? It's like finding your own soul so that you have an abundance of that to give. Like I'm seeing that you need to be finding what it is that you want and giving to that situation, that person, that creative path, that job, like instead of running to the next thing, to the next thing. So that is what I'm seeing for you right now. Okay, so I'm going to end it right there. If you like this video, um, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more. Also, you can watch your uh, moon or rising to get a uh, fuller picture, or even um, if you're dealing with another sign, be watch their reading because oftentimes there's messages in there for you. So, but I'll go ahead and end here. Hopefully, it was helpful and. I'll see you next time.